I came across an interesting news item on the BBC News website. Uh, the headline is Young People More Likely to Pray Than Over 55s, according to a survey recently. And the article says young people in the UK are twice as likely as older people to pray regularly. A new survey has found some 51 percent of 18 to 34 year olds polled by Savanta Comres said they pray at least once a month compared to just 24 percent of those aged 55 and over. Only a quarter of older people even pray once a month. It also found 49% of the younger age group attend a place of worship every month compared to just 16% of the over 55s. The associate director of Savanta said the numbers could reflect the move to online worship during the pandemic. And this is very interesting how worship itself has been changing because of this. Chris Hopkins, this director, added that there were a few theories as to why young people made up such a large proportion of the religious landscape. Firstly, he said, as the demography of the UK changes, minority faiths do tend to have a larger proportion of practicing young people. And therefore, as the population of these groups increases within the UK, so will the prayer habits of the population at large. He also said that uh, an important factor was the impact of the pandemic has had on the ability to engage with one's faith with virtual prayers and services being held online. It is possible that the pandemic opened up more avenues to prayer to young people and this is reflected in the findings he said and then the article which i linked to below uh has some examples of as a young muslim woman of 23 from cardiff and um, she prays every day and she says she found her faith to give her solace in the pandemic and uh, she says interesting quote here uh, i know it's guaranteed that's her faith and it's not going to change i know it's going to be the place that provides solace it's my grounding and my anchor in life um, and that's interesting. Uh, there was uh, the study uh, polled 2,075 British adults in August and seems to contradict the stereotypical view that religious groups in the UK are overwhelmingly elderly. Now, I'm not sure that's 100 percent true. Um, I've been to many, many churches in my life, both uh, Catholic and Anglican and evangelical. And they and most churches are overwhelmingly, uh, I say full of old people, but there aren't many people that go in those churches that there are mostly 90 uh, percent elderly people, by which I mean in their 60s and 70s and so on. There are a few exceptions like HTB in Kensington, big exception. But what struck me in the mosques I've been to and I was in a mosque last Friday in Shepherd's Bush and it's basically packed it's full of young men overwhelmingly young men i would say i don't know 90 percent young men in their teens 20s maybe even 30s and they're all serious about their faith they're committed and they go they, they go to juma every friday um and what a contrast there between your, your typical mosque and your typical church uh, and here we're seeing the future of faith practice in the uk played out and the direction of the direction of growth on the one hand and directional decline on the other is very clear back to the article its founder richard gamble is the founder uh, of the charity that commissioned this um, survey said the study challenged the perception that the uk was a secular society it is becoming increasingly clear that there is actually a growing spirituality in the nation he said um that's absolutely true i i think i think on the surface our society is certainly militantly secular it's been taken over by some strange ideologies which i won't go into but um but on the street level so to speak and real people uh that there is particularly younger people uh there is certainly uh, a seriousness about spirituality about purpose meaning god the divine um which i personally found incredibly uh, refreshing and encouraging 
uh, for the future of, of the well-being of our country and for people themselves is older people uh, much older people particularly I see this in France as well who are very reluctant to publicly speak about uh, faith at all um, the BBC uh, article also says a separate study by Manchester Metropolitan University coming out this week suggests religious communities have boomed in the pandemic with the move online. So this is really interesting. So there's a shift here, it seems. Now, will this be permanent? This is the question I have, and I don't know if it'd be permanent or not, but it could be because social media now, for good or ill, is now so much a part of our lives that people may find it much easier to express um, their faith their prayer online than by going to a church which is a building is likely to be locked most of the week they are 90 percent of them are locked all the time apart from just an hour on sunday perhaps whereas online of course you can uh, engage with people and express your faith and watch services and participate in services at any time of the day or night globally um but also come back to mosques as well. You know, uh, the mosque, I mean, one near here, Regent's Park Mosque, open every day, all day. They have a cafe, has a restaurant, has a bookshop, has a huge prayer room, uh, has other facilities for men and women. It has an office, it has everything. Um, so it, it's a place, it's a community uh, centre. It's not just a place of prayer, it's a community centre. And um, where you can sit down and relax as well as meet with fellow believers and pray and worship and so on. That's not the case in my experience with churches at all, really. Uh, the, the, I think there may be one or two exceptions I can think of in the UK. I say your average church is just closed most of the time. Your average church is not going to be a welcoming place where you can sit out and chill before or after a service. Or you can, you know, it, it's a structured hierarchical tight closed environment and then you're in then you're out um now i'm not saying this to put down those churches uh there could be logistical and practical reasons why they have to function in that limited way um but in my experience muslims uh meet in their in uh not just in formal structures like regent's park mosque uh they they meet in uh they rent out places they rent out buildings rooms they meet in converted houses all over the place uh because there's an obligation to pray to god of course uh and god for muslims comes first not uh making money or entertainment or whatever um uh, anyway i thought that report was very interesting and and reasons for optimism uh, in our otherwise militantly secular society uh, where the concerns of the dunya, this world, the near, are total. Uh, and then we see these green shoots coming out now where uh, younger people, unlike us older people, are um, finding ways to express their faith online uh, and in places like mosques, which are open and welcoming, usually welcoming, to, uh, to people. Anyway, till next time.